Well, hi there, it's Pam Carr here from Caraway Crochet, and I thought I would create a little video to tell you all about my yarn kits that I'm making, um, my crochet kits. They are um, a complete everything you need kit to get started with crocheting. So if you're a beginner or you know a beginner, then these crochet kits are something that you might be interested in. So the idea came just before Christmas and I managed to get it up on my Etsy shop and, and quite a few people were, took advantage of it and were really happy, got some nice reviews. So I thought I'd go out and get myself some yarn because here on Main Island I didn't have a lot of selection of yarn and I actually ran out of oatmeal. I still haven't managed to get any oatmeal but I was over on, on the mainland in Mission at my daughter's over Christmas so I thought I'm going to go to Michael's. And luckily they had lots of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, which is what I use to make these kits for my super simple scarf and for my chunky beanie patterns, okay? I also brought out a glove one as well, but that was later. So these were the first two that I thought I'd test the waters with, my chunky beanie, my freedom beanie, and also the simple scarf. So the, the colors that I have on on hand now are great. I've got my blossom pink so you can go to Etsy and you can click down and choose your color. So I love these um, Lion Brand Thick and Quick yarns because they're so soft. They're 20% wool and they feel just gorgeous and warm to the touch. Soft yet they're washable. I just had a little bit of a technical shift with my camera there so I just fixed that for you. So the other colors that I have on hand I was so happy that they had the full spectrum of colors that I wanted. This is a gorgeous claret and it's cranberry is another word used to describe it. It's just gorgeous. This is actually one of my most popular colors for people getting the kits. So that's the cranberry or not cranberry claret. Okay, and that once again, beautiful. And there's enough yarn in one of these skeins to make the scarf. Also, there's enough to make the hat and maybe even two if you make a short one and a long one. Here's this beautiful kale green. I don't know if you can see how green that is. It's gorgeous. It's got the little speckles in it. And once again, it's the typical beautiful feel of the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. So I've got the kale, the, the claret, the blossom pink. And then I got just a few of these. I didn't know how popular these ones would be. This is barley. And you can use these, you have the selection of the same colors pretty much for the hat kit or the um, scarf kit. And this one is called Grey Marble. And all of these yarns are the same. They're all um, 106 yards, 6 ounces. So this is a Grey Marble. This one is extremely popular. This is a neutral that really pleases everybody. You can't go wrong with that. And then there's this other one, which they call marble, which is kind of strange because it is a gray, but this is gray marble. This one is just marble. Much lighter, but it's sometimes that's what people want. And this one is another kind of gray, but it's charcoal. And this is what I started out with my, with my scarves because that's all I had on hand. I had the charcoal, I think, and the claret to start with, and now um, most people are ordering these colors. I'm only down to one ball of this. Uh, I haven't got any more of that. I got some rusty color. This is called Spice. When I sell my Freedom Beanies on the market, this is kind of one of the most popular colors for the Freedom Beanies, ready to ship type of thing, you know, made to order but I'm not selling hats and stuff. I'm only selling patterns and kits right now in my Etsy shop. Another popular color that was really hard to come by during COVID was this mustard. And um, I love the mustard and that's pretty popular. I haven't had any scarves ordering mustard, but the hats, they like the mustard. And then of course, black, always a classical color to get black. And this is the cranberry. This is what I use to make the Santa beanies. Um, it's a beautiful color, beautiful red, nice color. And I managed to actually scoop some of this succulent, which was the color of the year last year for, for Lion Brand, but I didn't get any. So <laughs> I'm a bit late to the game because they've changed the color this year. It's terracotta, 
but I do love this succulent and I think if I don't sell any with my kits I might come up with a nice spring design with this succulent color so you might wonder what do you get when you um, get a kit from Caraway Crochet well I hand make these little bags they have a crochet um, cord in them and uh, while I was actually over in mission my granddaughter who is 13 helped me make some of these bags she did the zigzaggy bits along the top to make the channel to run the cord through she actually sewed some of the bags as well so I'm getting her started and she was um, really good on the sewing machine I was I think she's a natural so you get the bag you get one skein of the yarn you get a Q hook which you need to make these I just ordered a huge order of these um, wholesale so I'm waiting for those to arrive so I'm, they're going to be wooden ones but these are all I could get I actually had a panic situation where I couldn't find any hooks and I went to Victoria over on Vancouver Island on the ferry to stay with my friend especially to go and buy some hooks and there were actually only four in all of Victoria so I had to order these from um, Yarn Canada and I got a few they only had about six and so uh, I got them and I ordered some off of a place I found on Amazon, but I decided to bite the bullet and I've ordered like 260 wooden ones coming. So that's really exciting. And then you get a little yarn needle. I like these ones that are bent because they're really cool for weaving in your ends. And you, I usually just put those into one of my business cards like this so it doesn't get lost in the kit. So when it comes, your yarn hook is sort of attached to a business card like that. And then you get a little thank you card, which I write in. And inside of the card, I put one of these sheets, which has all the links to my YouTube tutorials for the stitches you're going to need for your project. And you also get a printed out pattern. So this is for the scarf. There's also a printed pattern for the hat kit if you go for the chunky beanie kit. And there's a separate one, of course, for the short and chunky fingerless gloves. In honor of getting the, um, making the, the beanie kits, I decided to go and order some bulk pom-poms. Woohoo! Right? So I got a, a great selection from a place called Warehouse 20 in Maple Ridge, which is very close to where my daughter lives. And so I got a lot of these beautiful um, pom-poms in different colors. I got those. I got some white and some white with the gray on them. And I got a pinky kind. I haven't yet put these customizable up. People generally get a brown one when they order a kit at the moment but I am going to put the color choices for pom-poms up there on my Etsy listing. So those are the pom-poms that come if you get the hat kit. So I just thought I'd share um, these ideas with you and let you know all about my kits. And so when you get a kit, let's see if I can go, here's one. What you get is you get your kit. This is for the scarves. You get your yarn, you get your hook, you get your yarn needle, this is how it comes shipped, like this. And then I put that into the bag. So that's all pretty in there. And then I fold up the pattern like this because it gives a bit of support in the back for when it's being shipped. And then inside of that, I write them the card I put the links to the tutorials to help you if you're a beginner crocheter. I put the card and the pattern into the bag, just like this. And then I pull it tight and I put it in a nice mailer and off it goes to whoever wants a beautiful everything you need ready to crochet kit okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this this um little bit of a yarn haul for my crochet kits and a little bit of information shared to you about what 
my kits involved, okay? Please subscribe if you like what you see. I'm gonna share, I did get lots of other yarn. I'm just gonna share a yarn haul kind of video. And I just got some yarn from We Crochet, so I'm gonna be sharing that with you in a separate video too. So subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see what I'm getting up to. And ring, click on the little bell so you get notifications. And thank you very much for joining me today. And happy crocheting!